What? That guy is not with him. The guy that goes by the name of Laughing at Liberals is by him by by him here by himself. He was, he was Jesse Svonberg is not with him. Svonberg is not with him. There will be plenty of video of the entire thing online. You're very welcome. Svonberg's not with him. Svonberg was helping try to keep him away from the people. All right. All right. Dude, he just aimed a gun at me. I'm sorry. I'm a little amped up. Yeah. The guy that goes by the name of Laughing at Liberals, uh, uh, for some reason felt threatened by the crowd, and he drew his uh, what looked what looked to be a Glock 18 with an extended clip. Sponberg was trying to talk him down and get get him away from the crowd, like a lot of us were. And uh, the police finally came and took him into custody. Um, the fellow that aimed the gun. Well, he just got a yep, yep. gun pointed at him. I mean, What's up? adrenaline is a thing. Yeah. You should carry your own gun. Yeah, but when there's a crowd. Film me. I got you right now. Yeah. I'm gonna roll the whole time. Is that cool? All right. Sure, man. What's up? Are you a victim of a crime? There's no menacing law in Oregon, is there? No, there's no menacing law. No. I didn't feel threatened, but he scanned the horizontal plane with a gun, and you'll see it in 20 videos. Okay, he felt threatened by the crowd, and it's pretty freak out. I said put the gun down, and in my video, you'll see him aim it down again. Okay. But he looked he afraid. Did, he didn't deliberately target you with the gun? No. He did not pause and hesitate on me. That's what I needed to know. Thank you. Right. Okay. Yeah, there'll got, be plenty of videos. Spomberg is definitely not with him. I understand. I'll go. I'll go straighten that out. All right. Thank you. Okay. Thank you. Go ahead. Yep. Yep. What's up? I'm doing well, man. Yeah. So. I'll tell you in a minute. No, I was there. I was the one reason he killed the guy. I'm rolling. Okay, never mind that. Yeah. You want to shoot? Yeah, my, that's Mike's on it. Menace by him, like I said. Okay, great. You're just a witness. I'll talk to you. I saw it too. Yeah. Were, you, were you targeted too? I was not targeted. I just saw it. Okay. You doing crazy? I, I like your mean face. It's a good one. <laughs> you're like, you got the horizontal plane. You're, you're doing good. Farmers didn't need to change pants after this. Oh, yeah. Well, that's not the first time Swanberg's had a gun pointed at him. No, but he just got jumped by it. Yeah, right. <laughs> well, the cops didn't know, man. I mean, you you rode around with me and listened to dispatch all night long. Yeah. They, 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 get, they, they get a big bag of bang, uh, bag to try to figure out what happens when they show up. They get like a giant industrial-sized sack full of bag to deal with. So... <laughs> I don't think so. But they, they tackled him because he was standing next to the dude that pulled the gun. Oh yeah, so that's what the whole thing's about. Is the dude had a uh, they, pistol. Spumberg's not detained anymore. They took the cuss off him. Hey, Jesse. Can you take the pants, Spumberg? Hey, man, give me some lovies. I'm just going to hug my friend, man. I'm so fucking scared. Are you good on the side? All right, you're good. Oh, God, so so you're good. Scared. You're good. I witnessed hey. for you. I got you undetained. They talked to me and asked me Jesse. if you were with them. Jesse. Sorry about that. Hey. Can we be off? off? I love you, brother. Can I talk to him off? Yeah, yeah. Go ahead. Oops. <laughs> I almost accidentally walked through there. Yeah. I'd like to just take an opportunity to let you guys know there's this thing called the Bilderberg Group. There's a number 15. Here's my turn. I'm up on the up on the. You can have my footage if you want it. I don't care. I'm in Canada or United States. 
some intense shit. This is Mike Bluehair signing off for filming the Police Portland. I'm here with Jesse Sponberg, my good friend Jesse Sponberg, I should say. And uh, I was one of the people there trying to keep the guy, that, uh, you know, at bay and try to keep, keep shit calm with you. And you were the unlucky one that was closest to him when the police finally took him into custody. So, from your perspective, what the fuck just happened? Well, so... Emote. <laughs> Emote. So, uh... I, I'm familiar with the guy. We talk from time to time in protest. Yeah, it goes by laughing at liberals. Right. Yeah. So, yeah. So I figured, of all the people here that are really upset and everybody, you know, tensions were high, I figured I'm a decent representative from the community to go and try to, you know, make, make a peaceful, make a peaceful uh, resolution to the problem. So I convinced him to take a walk with me up the street. In the meantime, apparently a bunch of people called the police. So while I'm, while I'm being a good guy, and escorting the, the gun guy out of here, all of a sudden, um, a, shitload, a shitload of stormtroopers showed up. And um, they pulled all their guns on us, and they made me get on the ground. And even when I was on the ground, they kept their gun pointed at me, and, and I asked them to drop their weapons, and I told them I was a good guy, and they detained me. And, and they let you, they cut you loose, because they came and interviewed me and asked, Are, uh, what, were you with them? And I said, no, he's, you're not. They cut me loose, but that was still absolutely terrifying. Of course, man. I mean, I, if I was you, I, I, I need a change of underwear, man. Like, seriously. I mean, that was some scary looking shit, and, and I wasn't even there. I, I mean, I wasn't, like, on the other side of it. It's different being, being uh, the one behind the camera and the one getting the gun pointed at you. So, I mean, I, I mean I'd mean, i be terrified in your in your shoes at that, at that, at that moment. Away. Yeah. They got him away. All right, man. Thank you.